Oh, hi there. In this video, we're going to be hacking a plugin for IntelliJ to make it work with the early access preview. For example, I'm having my early access build of IntelliJ installed and I want to get GitHub Copilot. Now, if you type in GitHub Copilot right here, you'll notice it is not available neither in the marketplace nor installed because the plugin I don't have on my computer and it's not yet compatible with IntelliJ, or at least they claim not to be. And if I go to the official website, uh, plugins.jetbrains, we can try downloading the nightly build, which is the latest release uh, released today. But even then, if I download it, if I get the zip, then what we can try to do, we can go to this, li this little icon right here, install plugin from the disk, and then it, it says it's not compatible because it requires build blah, 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 but the current build is ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. all right? You got a point. Now, what we have to do, we have to open up this zip with WinRAR, and then the trick is you're going to open up the lib, and you're going to guess whichever file is the core or the main plugin file so this plugin is called github copilot that's right so the jar the main jar is right here if you are using winrar what you can do here you can just double click this jar and it's automatically going to extract uh, and open this jar as a zip if you don't use this software just extract the jar and then you can open up the jar with any zip or rar applications such as winrar which i highly recommend then open up meta ENF, INF, and then open up plugin.xml. And right here, you'll notice that it has IDEA version since this is the minimum required build and this is the um, maximum required build. So all we have to do is type in three, all right? It's gonna work for a very long time. It's gonna keep working for at least a hundred years. And if I close it, the zip will automatically be updated. Do you wish to update it in the archive? Yes. I have to close this one too, and then I want to update the jar in the main uh, zip. There we go. And then if I close it and I go to my settings again and I do it again, voila, now we have GitHub Copilot ready to go. So IntelliJ has restarted. This looks like it's properly working. Let me just type in something to make sure that it does work. There we go. It actually does work. Now, obviously, I have logged into my GitHub account uh, right here to make sure that it works. You guys need to be careful. Obviously, please use common sense. Don't comment below that it doesn't work because obviously sometimes IntelliJ makes breaking changes and the plugin actually breaks, but more often than not, it is just not working due to an artificial block, which you now know, my friend, how to get rid of. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. For more tutorials, smash that freaking like and uh, subscribe button so you get notified and I can't wait to see you next time. Take care.